okay now uh, we, we check about the model how is this model how is this error correction model when GDP is the dependent variable and from this model what we have seen that uh, education cannot cause GDP but the investment can cause GDP that we have uh, we have already seen using world statistics okay now we check about the model how how is this model okay in this model the R square is quite high 74.53 percent so we are happy about it and the F statistics you can see and the corresponding probability corresponding probability is less than 5 percent meaning that all the independent variables jointly can influence our dependent variable which is GDP so we are happy about this model so we are happy about R square and we are happy about the F statistics we are happy now we check about our residual of this model so this model must have a residual so we check about residual now I go to view residual diagnostic so first I check the heteroscedasticity right that I check first okay here uh, we check the suppose we check uh, Bruce Pagan Godfrey test right we can check it also, right? Bruce Pagan uh, Godfrey test. And here, what is the outcome? So we can check the observed R square. We can check this one. And the p value. How much is the p value? More than 5%. So meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that what is the null hypothesis the residual is homoscedastic that is the null hypothesis and that is always desirable and here we cannot reject null hypothesis because the p value is more than 5% how much is the p-value 83.13% so we cannot reject null hypothesis okay here also we can check the arch statistics residual diagnostic heteroscedasticity test right so we can choose the arch here is the arch right and we can suppose I take lag 2 in testing the arch and uh, in case of arch observed R square and the corresponding P value 44.79 percent which is more than 5 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis and what is the null hypothesis null hypothesis is that there is no arch effect arch a r c h there is no arch effect and that is desirable right that is desirable so this model has no arch effect so we are happy about this model then we check also residual some more 
such as we, we, we check about serial correlations, right? Serial correlation test. Suppose we choose lag 2 as before, we choose lag 2. So, it is the Brush Godfrey LM test and we choose the observed R square and corresponding p value. How much is the p value? 85.72 percent, which is more than 5 percent. So, we cannot reject null hypothesis. And what is our null hypothesis? The null hypothesis is that residual is not serially correlated. So, and we cannot reject this hypothesis. That means serial, uh, that means residuals are not serially correlated. So, we are happy about it because residuals are not serially correlated which is desirable for a good model. Okay, then finally we check about the no normality of the residual. I go to residual diagnostic, then I check the histogram test of normality. Okay, here we can see Jarkabera statistics and the p value corresponding p value how much is the p value 44.71 percent 44.71 percent this is the corresponding probability of jarkabera statistics and p value is more than 5 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis. And what is our null hypothesis? Null hypothesis is that residuals are normally distributed and that is desirable. So, in this, this particular model where the GDP is the dependent variable, in this model everything is okay there is no serial correlation, there is no arch effect, the, the residual is normally distributed, R square is quite high, F statistics is significant. So, we are very happy about the, about this particular error correction model, where GDP is the dependent variable.